We're going to walk through the integration between Skubana and Inventory Planner. In order to install Inventory Planner with your Skubana account, go to Skubana Apps, click on the App Store, search for Inventory Planner, and install the app. At this point, the sync with Inventory Planner will begin. All of your product and sales information will be synced to your account in Inventory Planner. By going to the replenishment screen, we will see the demand for each of our warehouses, along with all product information associated with that warehouse. In order to generate a forecast and replenishment recommendations, there are a few key pieces of information that you'll need to enter to Inventory Planner. First, select the relevant date period that you'd like to use as reference for the forecast. This means that all customer orders during this time will be used as reference to calculate what the forecasted demand will be. Next, you'll need to enter the lead time and days of stock for each variant. This can be different for each location. So if you have a primary warehouse, you may have a longer lead time if you have overseas suppliers than if you have a secondary warehouse where you will supply smaller orders from your main warehouse, you can set up a shorter lead time. Days of stock is your ideal stock cover, meaning how long you would like your order to last once it arrives at your warehouse. You can also think of days of stock as your purchasing frequency. To look at how the forecast is calculated, we'll click on details and be able to see past sales information as well as any stockouts. Stockouts will be recorded starting with the date that you create your inventory planner account. The forecast is based on your sales velocity. That is calculated as the number of units sold divided by days in stock. Excluding out of stock days ensures that we are not under forecasting true customer demand. We will also take into account recent trends. As we can see in this example, there is an increasing trend showing more demand for this item in the future. So we forecast that for October, we will end up selling more items than we have in the past few months. If you have a seasonal product, you can change settings to use a different forecasting algorithm. Instead of looking at recent trends, we will look at what happened the same time period the prior year. So we can see sales that have gone up and down in the fourth quarter of last year and first quarter of this year. We see a similar trend repeating for the year coming up. You can customize information that you see on the replenishment screen, as well as other reports within Inventory Planner, by clicking on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner. There are over 125 metrics that you can add to your report and customize the layout. For example, if we want to see the forecasted demand, we'll enable forecast. It's added to our columns. If we want to see in a different order, we'll drag and drop so that it appears in the order that we need it to. Once we have the forecasted demand, Inventory Planner will then take into consideration current stock, any items on order or transferring between warehouses, and come up with the replenishment recommendation. The replenishment recommendation will take into account your lead time, how long it takes to get items from your vendor, as well as the days of stock, how long you'd like that order to last. Once we've generated replenishment recommendations, we'll select a few of these items and create a new purchase order. These items are automatically populated on the purchase order, including the quantity of the replenishment recommendation. Any cost prices that are entered into Skubana will be loaded into an inventory planner and show on your purchase order automatically. Once we've created the purchase order, we'll see the option to save to Skubana. That means when we click on this save button, this purchase order will sync to Skubana right away. We now have purchase 1003. We'll go to our Skubana store to the purchase orders. And here we have 1003. After the purchase order has been synced to Skubana, everything else with the purchase order happens in Skubana rather than Inventory Planner. Receiving, editing, canceling the purchase order all happens in Skubana. That information will sync back to Inventory Planner automatically. 
In the purchase order section, we can see both purchase orders and transfers that they have synced to Skibana, as well as the status reflected from Skibana. If there is any receiving information, that will be reflected in Inventory Planner as well. Other features of Inventory Planner include identification of overstock. Using the forecast settings from the replenishment screen, Inventory Planner will identify how many units are forecasted to be on hand after the planning period. The planning period in this case is the lead time plus days of stock. As we can see in this example, on November 16th, we are forecasted to have several units overstock. We will also show information about how overstocked the item is. If it's two months, 10 months, 18 months, that can help with the decision-making process for how quickly to move those items out. We also organize this information by the retail value of the overstock, also to help in prioritizing how to clear items out of your warehouse and generate cash. Open to buy planning is also available in Inventory Planner. This can be helpful high-level financial planning to see how much inventory you need on hand in order to meet revenue goals. Information can be planned on a store-wide level, by warehouse, or by category. There are also a number of reports available within Inventory Planner. A couple to highlight include Inventory KPIs, which is a very flexible report. This can be viewed by warehouse, a number of different dimensions, including vendors, categories, tags, collections. The date range is customizable, including a custom range. And date ranges can be compared. So if you would like to see week over week trends, monthly trends, quarterly trends, all of that is available in this report. As with other pages, the columns can be configured so you can pick out the metrics that work for you. If you have standard reports that you would like to view, you can actually save these as presets or the default so that you see these automatically when coming to this page. Another report that is often helpful is the assortment report. We can see information, again by warehouse or a number of different dimensions. As an example, if we would like to see how one vendor is performing across several different categories, we will view information first by categories, then filter by vendor. Now we can see sales, revenue, and profit information only for this vendor across all categories. Inventory Planner works with Skubana to provide detailed forecasting information, identifying overstock, and helps to provide a number of reports so that you can best manage your inventory and optimize your investment in your stock.